So this is our example number 2 for torsion in circular shaft. The shaft in figure A consists of a 3-inch diameter aluminum segment that is rigid, rigidly joined to it to a 2. So this is our example number 2 for torsion in circular shaft. The shaft in figure A consists of a 3-inch diameter aluminum segment that is rigidly joined to a 2-inch diameter steel segment. The ends of the shaft are attached to rigid supports. So, ito yung ating rigid support. Okay? So, calculate the maximum shear stress developed in each segment when the torque T is equal to 10 kips inch is applied. Okay? Use G is equal to 4, 4 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for aluminum and G is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for steel. Ayan. So, meron dalawang segment. Ayan. So, sabihin natin ano? Point this is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. Ayan. So, segment AB is an aluminum with 3 inch, okay, 3 inches diameter. And this is segment BC which is steel with 2 inch diameter. Okay, so doon sa point B, nag-apply tayo ng torque. Okay, so this is counterclockwise na torque. So, this, this is 10, ano, 10 kips inch. Okay. So, ngayon, sabi rin dito, calculate the maximum shear stress developed in each segment. Okay? Ayan. So, kung ikakat natin to, okay, so doon natin makukuha yung ating Okay, so kung ikakat natin tong ano, segment AB natin, doon natin makukuha yung internal torque for the aluminum. And dito, kapag kinat natin, doon natin makukuha yung internal torque ng steel. So, i-drawing natin sa FBD. Okay? Ayan. Sorry, that medyo may kli lang to kasi kinat natin eh. Ayan. Okay? So, dito, ang ating torque is counterclockwise. So, to the right. Okay? So, double-headed arrow na to the right and this is 10 kips and 10 kips inch okay so since ano to to the right ibig sabihin maghahati lang yung ating ano torque sa aluminum and steel ibig sabihin dapat yung ating torque sa aluminum and torque sa steel is pares ng direction so pares na lang i-resist so pares na lang to the left ibig sabihin clockwise okay clockwise yung ating torque dito Ayan. Okay, so this is TA for aluminum and this is TS for steel. Ayan. So TL, TAL dapat pala na. So TAL and this is TST. Ayan. So this is TAL and TS. Ayan. So by summation of torque, so by summation of Sorry, nasanay ako sa force kasi. So, by summation of torque is equals to zero, double-headed double arrow to the right is positive, ibig sabihin, yung ating the aluminum is negative. Okay? Ika lang, usog natin sa taas. Ayan. So, this is, since to the right to, ibig sabihin, positive. Okay? So, 10 minus TAL minus TS still is equals to 0. Therefore, TAL plus TST is equals to 10. So, this is our equation number 1. Yeah. Okay. So, dito, gagamit na tayo ng compatibility equation. Yun. So, sa example number 1 natin, hindi natin kailangan ng compatibility equation. Kasi ano eh, uh, kaya na natin siya sagutin eh. Or kaya natin kunin yung mga unknown by equilibrium condition. So, since hindi, natin, hindi enough yung equilibrium condition dito, kailangan natin gumamit ng compatibility equation. Yan. Compatibility equations. So, sabi ko nga sa introduction, kapag compatibility equation sa torsion, gagamit tayo ng angle of twist. So, since ano naman eh, um, since pares naman yung rotation ng ating ano, 
rotation ng ating torque sa aluminum and steel, ibig sabihin, equal din, okay, yung, ano, yung ating angle of twist for aluminum and angle of twist for steel. And so, angle of twist for aluminum is equivalent to angle of twist for steel. So, this is TL over GJ for aluminum is equals to TL over GJ for steel. Ayan. So, this is T aluminum multiplied by the length for aluminum. That is 6 feet. So, 6 feet. So, gawin natin ano? 12. Ah, okay. So, kahit hindi na pala. Pwede natin i-convert ng feet kasi magka-cancel din dito eh. So, pakita natin kung paano magka-cancel. Ayan. So, 6 feet over G. Ang ating G for aluminum is 4 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. Ang J natin. Okay. So, solve natin yung mga J natin pala dito. So, G, uh, J for aluminum. Ang J natin for aluminum is pi R to the fourth. Okay. Or, yung diameter na lang pala, no? So, pi T to the fourth over 32. So, J aluminum is equals to pi. Ang diameter nito is 3. Okay, so, 3 raised to 4 over 32. 7.952. So, 7.952 inch to the fourth. Okay? So, ano naman? For steel... So, J steel is equals to pi. Ang din naman nito is 2. So, kahit din natin isulat, alam na rin ninyo yan. Okay? So, ang J steel natin is equals 2. Ang papata na natin dito is yung diameter. So, this is 2 inch chest. Okay? And so, 0.5. So, 0.5 pi inch to the fourth. Okay? So, this is aluminum. So, 7.952 inch to the fourth. Ayan. So, ikit na natin ito. So, TL multiplied by 6 feet. Is equals to PS steel multiplied by length. Ang length nito is 3 feet. Over G, ang G natin is 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. Multiplied by J, ang J natin is 0.5 pi inch to the 4. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo magka-cancel. So, di natin kailangan pa i-convert. Yan. So, ito. Yan. Cancel to. Cancel to. Cancel ang PSI. Cancel din to. So, halos familiar sa inyo. Ito yung ginagawa natin sa ANSA. Compatibility equation sa strain. That is deformation. Uh, deformation for aluminum is equal to deformation of steel. So, halos walang bago sa concept. So, same na same lang. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, palabasin na lang natin yun, ano? yung torque natin sa aluminum. Okay? So, mangyayari dito, 3 multiplied by ito, 4 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 7 7 point 9.52 Okay, over 6 multiplied by 12 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 0. 0.5 pi Ayan. So, 0. 0.844 So, 0. 0.844 TS steel Ayan, makukuha na natin Ito na yung ating equation number 2 So, ayan Substitute na natin yung ano, aluminum. So, magiging, okay, natin. Substitute equation number 2 in equation number 1. So, the aluminum. So, point, uh, 0.844 TS steel plus TS steel is equal to 10. Okay? So, ang ating TS steel is equal to Ilan yan? 0.844 multiplied by x plus x is equals to 10. Ayan. So, 5.423. So, 5.423. Siyempre, ang unit natin dito is keeps inch. Ayan. Keeps inch. Okay? So, therefore, 
Ang ating T aluminum niyan is equals to 0.844 of steel. So, multiplied by 0.844. So, 4.577. 4, 4.577 keeps change. So, pare sila na clockwise. Okay? Yeah, so makuha natin yung ano, shear natin sa aluminum and sa steel. Okay? So, shear natin, shear, shear stress natin para sa aluminum is, okay, PR over J for aluminum. So, ang torque natin sa aluminum is 4.577. So, keep siya, no? So, magiging KSI to. Okay? So, keeps inch. Okay? Multiplied by R. Ang R natin is okay. So, 3 inch no? divided by 2. So, 1.5 inches. Over J. Ang J natin for aluminum is 7.952 inch to the fourth. Ayan. So, canceled ang inch squared dito. Magiging inch squared to. Okay. So, keeps per inch squared. So, KSI. So, shear aluminum is equivalent to 4.577 multiplied by 1.5 over 7.952. Okay? So, 0.863. So, i-multiply natin ng 1,000 para maging pounds. Okay? Para maging PSI. So, 863.368. So, 863.368. 368. So, 368. PSI. So, ito na yung ating ano, maximum shear for aluminum. Next, for steel. So, shear stress for steel is equals to PR over J for steel. So, ang ating ano, uh, torque for steel is 5.423. So, keeps inch. Then, we convert natin into pounds. Okay? So, pounds per keeps. Ayan siya. Then, 1, ah, sorry. Hindi yan 1.5. Ang diameter natin sa steel is 2 inch. So, 1 inch ang ating radius. Over J. Ang ating J is 0.5 by inch to the fourth. So, cancel ang keeps. Cancel yung inch squared. So, dito is inch squared. So, makukuha natin dyan is PSI. So, ang ating maximum shear stress for steel is 5.423 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 0.55 So, 3,452 0.389 so, 3, 4, 52, 0. 389. Okay. So, PSI. Ayan. Okay. Ito siya. So, ito yung ating example number 2 for torsion in circular shaft.